So you're doing the valve drop and now you got a stock rope. Right here. It will not come out. There's a knot. And inside the knot, we have a... Uh, inside the spark plug, there's a big knot. We cannot get it out, no matter, no matter how hard you pull on it. Here we go. <laughs> so now a lot of people freak out here and say, wow, now I gotta pull the heads out. I don't know what to do. Well, simple. Remove your intake manifold. And once you remove your intake manifold, up on top right there, remove that intake manifold. And from there on, you should be able to get this rope out. And the reason why I say that is because we're gonna purposely drop the intake valve in the engine and um, gonna pull the rope out. Now, I'm sure a lot of people freak out about it. They're like, well, if I drop a valve, then I gotta pull the heads out. No, you don't. We're gonna show you how to do that. I just wanna show you guys, here's the rope. And we, no matter how, you pull on it you're not able to get it out so now there's various things you can try you can try to burn it you can try to do all that or you can waste another give it a take an hour and get this job done quicker and easier less stressful by just removing the um, intake manifold now this is all done with the engine in the car so if you if you have this issue for example you use the rope and now you have this problem it's not the end of the world. Don't freak out. It is 100% retrievable. First thing you want to do is, depending on which cylinder you are, what you want to do is, at that point, you need to, what you need to do is, you need to um, take the washer and the spring off from uh, that cylinder, whichever one that's easiest for you, depending if you're working cylinder one, Obviously, you got two and two, two uh, intake, two exhaust, and on and on. So once you get to this point, remove your intake manifold out, which is held by two, four, six, ten screws, and uh, three connections in the back. Remove that out. Once you remove that out, you should be able to see this part right here. This is what it's going to look like. Right here. You can see, you can see, uh, you should be able to see really nice down there. And you have a lot more room. So right here on the intake one, you can see we got the spring out. And we got the washer out, we got the keepers out. So what we're going to do is, we're going to drop the cylinder down and we're going to push that valve in. So once we push that valve in, it's gonna the valve itself is gonna drop. Now a lot of you are gonna be like, "Are you crazy?" No, I'm not. Let me try to get this light better. There we go. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna rotate the engine down, and we're gonna push the valve in, down. Look at the valve right there, going down. I'm gonna rotate the engine. Now push the valve out. So once we push the valve out, we're gonna grab a coat hanger, and what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make it a little hook. The hook is gonna be something like this right here. What we're trying to do is we're trying to grab the rope. So from here, you know, let's drop this valve all the way down. So from here, 
There's a rope. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna grab a screwdriver and push just a little bit down on the rope itself from the spark plug. There we go. Now, once we got that, we're gonna grab vice grips, uh, needle nose pliers, we're going to make the valve go completely down. We're going to drop it down. Now that the valve is down, here's the nut. Just comes right out. This is how big of a knot it is. This, this is no way on earth it would be able to come out from the spark plug itself. So now we're gonna retrieve the valve. We're gonna put the valve back on. This goes the same way as if you were to drop a valve, an intake valve, you'll do the same thing. So now we're gonna look for the valve is right here with the magnet. We're gonna just Hold it a little bit, and we're going to crank the engine for it to come back up just a little bit. So as it comes up, we're going to guide it back in. Let's get really close. Grab your needle nose. With your needle nose, you just you just get it in and you get it started. Once the valve is it's once the valve is in a groove, then you can continue rotating the engine and the valve will come back right up. Rotate the engine just a little bit more. And the valve is almost in. There she goes. Now here I can just rotate the engine. And my cylinder will push the valve up automatically. Here we go. And here's the valve, right back up. That's how you get the knot out and that's how you retrieve the intake valve out.